Hi guys, this is Michael Orl from MobileBurn.com and Google just released a new version of Maps for Android. This is version 5.0. Adds a couple of new features including uh, caching so if you lose your connectivity during navigation or something like that you'll still have the maps loaded. Um, but the more cool features are what you can do with two fingers. You can rotate the screen quite easily just with two fingers and drag up or drag down will allow you to tilt or untilt the screen into 3D mode, which is really kind of cool. So it gives it a bit of a Google Earth type look to it. You can see then I can use the two fingers to twirl it around and of course still have multi-touch zooming and everything like that. Now we also have new functionality with the compass. I'll see if I can demonstrate that. You notice the compass in the upper left hand corner here. It's telling me that north is uh, back behind me. Now it's a little difficult to demonstrate this, but I'm going to show you how the compass tracks and turns the map as I move left and right here in my trusty swivel chair. It's really kind of cool. And see as I rotate the device, the orientation stays mostly in the right place. And you can see all I have to do to get back switch between the modes is to tap on the my location button here or actually I can tap on the compass as well tapping on the compass will always make sure that you're pointing north on the map and of course all this functionality also works with the other layer types interesting you can see that dark patch And here's the terrain view. And to try and demonstrate some of the caching, um, what I've done is I've turned off Wi-Fi and I've put the phone into airplane mode so there's actually no data. And you can see it's picked up a fair amount of the tiles ahead of time prefetching and that's handled through a cache setting right here. You can tell it to prefetch while on mobile or whether it'll do it just on Wi-Fi. So I had it set to prefetch on mobile so whether I was on 3G or on the Wi-Fi connection it's going around trying to pick up more and more tiles around the area I'm at. So that way when I lose connectivity for whatever reason it's still going to have all the mapping data which is, that's kind of important for things like uh, navigation. Say you go into a tunnel or something like that. And again to show you some of the caching. See how far out it's picked up information. Not the full tiles, but look how far out I'm going and there's still basic tile information. And I certainly was not out this far on the map. So there you have it. There's some of the new effects and features in Google Maps 5.0 for Android. I'm Michael Orl from MobileBurn.com.